God is good and all the time so when you see any of the people who are part of our security services in their official uniforms you can differentiate between them when you see an Air Force person dressed in Air Force uniform, this is Air Force. In their ceremonial, this is Air Force. Or they are blue, so they Air Force. Navy, white. Army, in their usual colors. When you see a, pre a prison officer, we have prison officers here, they are brown. When you see immigration, so this is immigration, green, isn't it? There is identity. And immigration officer, you don't take command from prison. Anna, Mrs. Dapa, your husband is prison officer. Does he take orders from the custom officer, whatever? No. You take your orders from your superiors based on where or which of the groups or services you are in. It is the same way for us Christians. Reason why today the church tells us, look at what the earliest apostles did. In front of the Sahindrin, the so-called big men of Judaism, and Peter, can you imagine Peter? Peter who had no knowledge, he said, ah, are these not the uneducated people? And Peter turns around, he said, no, we cannot take orders from you. Hmm. We are not under your authority. Let, let me quote the verse. He says, we must obey God rather than men. Who are you obeying? Who are you taking command from? The church says, no to homosexualism. So that, oh, that's for me, dear. Oh, oh the church is, is not, oh, the church is archaic. Oh, no to abortion. Oh, the church doesn't understand freedom. You, you are going to teach the Catholic Church freedom. You know the number of years the church has existed? <laughs> the church says, says, oh. And then in St. James, we say, what is your St. James? You, you, what did you say? Pilgrims. For who? Okay. And you want to take your order? <laughs> Your the, the command you want to take it from the world, then you are not from above because in baptism we were buried with who Christ. So you have an identity, your identity as a Catholic, as a Christian, is rooted not in the world, not in anything, but in who Christ Jesus. So people tell you over you, you are just oh, yes. For me, it is Jesus, my commander in chief. I take my orders from Jesus. You don't take your orders from so called philosophies of this world. And that is why the Lord says, You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not what? But yet. So sometimes you want your belief, but, why, why? but when you, you, you come to understand the hierarchy of the church, the fact that the church is the bride of Christ. And that is why even before the church proclaims anything, the Pope doesn't just get up and proclaim. We sit down, we pray, they reflect. The traditions of the church, the magisterium, for your soul. So I, I want us to, you see, let us be conscious. The world, when you follow social media, you follow the things, all sorts of ideologies. Those who are receiving fame, those who are making it, are people who are, you see, People who say, Oh, but don't want up. Ah, my father, look at him. That man is gay, but look at the money he has. He's the owner of Apple. I said, I said Well, but what, what profit would you have when you go in the whole world and lose your word? But the church has stopped talking about heaven and hell. 
Now, when you preach about sins, the father will be born again. What is wrong? Why are you preaching about heaven? No, what should I preach about? Business. No, I preach business. GDP. And that is my work now. So all people want breakthrough. But they want to they want to break through in financial, you know, perspectives, but not break through in their spiritual life. So still still they are like the rock of the they're still there. No break, even dynamite will not break them. In their spirituality, no breakthrough. Finances, father, young breakthrough. No. It's, 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 not, it's not Catholic. Sure, other churches may, but you are not part of another church. You are a Catholic. So your identity, you are Roman. You say, you're a Roman, and I'm what? Roman. Yes. So your life, your character, where you take your others from, should be like what Peter said. Oh, for us. Standing in front of the Sahim, you say, no. Our others from Jesus. We cannot take your orders to stop preaching. No. He told them that. And Bible says they wanted, when they heard this, they became infuriated. They became so angry. That's a Hindu, you know. And wanted to put them to death. And that is why the responsorial psalm should console you. Should console me. It says, The Lord hears the cry of the. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever on my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. If Peter and the apostles did not take refuge in Jesus, they would never have done what is did. Taste, taste and see that the Lord is what. Sometimes when they are giving you wine, they say, oh, taste the small. And I'm what? For coke, the oil, the just pour. But they say, oh, this one there. Sometimes I've been say, father, this one they tasted before. before. <laughs> so when you taste, say, oh, this is good. It's okay then. Before. But you see, when you are tasting Jesus, you don't go by thought, thought. Consume Jesus. Stand for Jesus. Test him. He's, he has been sweet ever. And he's still sweet today. Yesterday, today, and forever. Test and see the goodness of the Lord. It continues. The Lord confronts the evil doers. Yesterday I told you, don't waste your time on them. Leave them to whom? Say, the Lord is my shepherd. There is what? He sets tables before you in the presence of your enemy. Says he confronts. The Lord Himself will confront evil doers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just, our identity, when the just cries out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. It continues, says, the Lord is close to the broken hearted. This morning, I don't know what you may be going through. Already, by 6.45, your day has gone bad. Your heart is broken. You are full of fear. You are full of anxiety. You are just tired of this world. Contracts have been cancelled. Things you propose, projections, targets have not been reached. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. The week is coming. The working week is coming to an end. There is stress. There is confusion. Oh, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. And those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. May the Lord save you. He says, may the troubles, many are the troubles, he says, many are the troubles of the just man. But out of them all, the Lord delivers him. Keep your identity. Don't move out of Christ because you have many troubles. The Lord said this years ago. He says, many are the troubles of the just man. Because you are just, 
because you are putting on Jesus because you are putting on your uniform your troubles will be many but he says the Lord will deliver you may the name of the Lord be praised both now and forever amen